on our previous Blastfruits video, we helped this new breach second scene. Now, for this video, part 2, we are going to help him reach third C. But before we start, you can show your support by using Starcode Gamer Nom when buying your Robux. So, are you ready, guys? Let's go! Where the actor slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dump! Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So, again, for this video, we are going to help this noob reach third C. Again, this is a part 2 of our noob level 1 gets dragon fruit reaches second C. So if you haven't watched that yet, I will put the link in the description or check the upper right part of the video. So first, we're gonna start with the raiders. But game or no, the raiders are so far apart and they have this dash skill. They're very hard to lure. Is there a better way? Yes, and that's why I'm here to help. But first, we're gonna go back to the first C. Hmm, why game or no? What's the reason? We need to finish a quest to unlock your observation hockey and this will really help you in leveling up. So first you need to locate 5 green squares. You know it's activated when it lights up. Okay, so you need to locate 5 again. There you go, here are all the locations on the next island. 1 and 2. So after locating the 5 squares, you need to go to the quest giver. A door will open. There you go. Get the torch. Go to Desert Island, locate the red door, use your torch to burn this door, get the cap, go to Frozen Village, and in this cave, fill it up with water. There you go. There you go. Go up, give it to the sick man. Next, he will ask you to go to Pirate Village, talk to the rich man located here. He will then ask you to defeat the mob leader located in this island near the Marine Ford, small island. There you go. It's easy to defeat. After that, go back to him. He will give you this one, the relic. Go back to the jungle. You use your relic to open a door where you can fight the Saber Master. Wait, it's not it here. So while waiting for him, we're gonna level up. We're gonna level up here in the Galley Pirates. Remember them? Yes, here. Guys, you're gonna level up here until you reach level 725. Okay, you can also defeat Cyborg if you want. Again, level 725. And I'm quite sure that when you reach this level, the Saber Master has already spawned. This is how he looks like. There you go, hero. Saber Expert, yeah. He's easy to defeat. There you go. Again, this is our garment. For what game? And again, for the observation hockey. Next up, go to the Skylands. There you go, upper yard. Talk to Yusuf, and you need to pay him 750,000. There you go, this is observation hockey. So now you are ready to go back to second C. Again, you're level 725 and above. Why? We're gonna skip the raiders. We're gonna go with the mercenaries. It's easier to lure them three at a time and you can use your skills. There you go. If there's a wall around you, easier to kill, easier to lure. Okay, so you're gonna do this until you reach level 775. But don't forget, you can start defeating Diamond at 750. He's located here. Easy to defeat, guys. We're using a Dragon Fruit, so one on one PvE is quite easy to be honest. Now with Observation Aki. So when you reach level 775, you can go here, start defeating the Swan Pirates. Guys, this place is a very good place to level up. You just need to lure 5 or 4 at a time. Yes, you need to defeat 8, right? 8, yes. So here you go, lure 4 or 5 or 6 if you want. There you go. Easy to defeat them. You're gonna level up here until you reach level 900. But don't forget to defeat Jeremy when you reach 850. Gamer, now we're gonna skip some quests. Yes, because again, those quests are hard to do. Why? They're so far apart, etc. By this time, you've already unlocked your final skill, the transformation, but you need to make sure that your fear meter is at max. There you go. This is a transformation. For the first skill, the heat wave beam. Yeah, it's stronger. There you go. Dragon Claw is not just a single target now. And the fire shower, check this out guys. It really looks so powerful. Yes, it is powerful, but using these skills will really burn out your fury meter fast. Okay, so now when you reach level 900, you can now go to green zone. You can start defeating the marine captains. Guys, these mobs are hard to defeat, to be honest. Yes, no joke. So guys, it depends on you if you want to go back to the swamp pirates. You're going to transform here. Make sure that you're out of the range of those trees. You can still transform, transform outside of the range and go back to this area. Wait, I'm gonna show it to you, don't worry. There you go. Here guys, see that? I transformed outside and I went back. 
here you go. The damage is really high when you're in dragon form. Here we are, guys. Don't forget to defeat Fahita 925, okay? Fahita, Fujitora, the new admiral in One Piece, if you know him, if you're watching. Again, these fights are easy. Why? Because we're using the dragon foot. Stat check, 440 melee defense. I allotted all my stats on the block foots. So next up, guys, the graveyard island. We're gonna start with the zombies. Guys, this area, very easy to grind. Just need to lure 4 and very easy to defeat. Make sure there's a wall at the back. There you go. Use your skills. Again, they're not that tanky so you can burst them. There you go guys. Goal here is to reach level 1000 and after that, you can now go to the snow mountains and defeat snow troopers. Again guys, it is easy to grind in this area too. Don't worry, just lure 4 and defeat them with your skills. Again, the key here is using your skills properly. Check this out guys. When you use your uh, heat wave beam, See that I'm pointing here, so that the enemies will go there, okay? Check this out, boom. See that? So that they won't fall outside of the mountain, etc. and level up fast. So the goal here is to reach level 1100. Gamer no mirror skipping quests again, yes. Next up, hot and cold island. We're gonna start with the lab subordinates. There are five lab subordinates scattered around, so defeat three first, lure them. There you go, and after that, lure two. There are two again here. Make sure that you don't use your skill to throw them outside of the water. There you go. After that, go back to the previous three, and that's good. Don't forget to start defeating the Smoke Admiral when you reach level 1150. This will make your leveling up faster. He is located here. There you go. So guys, goal here is to reach level 1175. Check the place where you're gonna fight. You don't need to worry about using your skills because you are in a closed area. There you go. Burst him, defeat him easily. Okay. So when you reach level 1175, you can start defeating. There you go. The Magma Ninjas. So there are six in this area. You need to defeat eight. So defeat three. There you go. After defeating three, move on to the next part. Next area. There you go. Defeat three. And after this, two more and you're good to go with one quest. There you go. So Gamer Nom, what is our target level here? You're gonna need to reach level 1250. After that, you're going back to Graveyard Island. Guys, just joking. There's a boat near it if you notice it when you're leveling up with the zombies. You're gonna go here and level up. This is your next island. No, actually it's not an island. They call this the Cursed Ship. One of my favorite areas to level up. So here we are, Cursed Ship. We're gonna start by defeating the ship deckhands. Here you need to defeat 8 at 1250. Here they are. 1, 2, 3, 4. Guys, uh, make sure to defeat them near their spawn points. Why? Because if you don't if you do that, check this out. I defeated 3, right? Why? Where's the first one? It went back to its spawn point. So make sure to defeat them in between. Okay, their spawn points. If you're gonna lure them. There you go. Goal here is to reach level 1300. They're easy to defeat. After that, go to this area. And we're gonna start defeating the ship stewards. You need to defeat 8. Good news, this area is closed. You can use your skills properly. Bad news, there are tables. Your enemies can get stuck there. So you need to lure more. <laughs> more luring to do. Okay. So here you go. Easy to level up, guys. I'm telling you. In this area, your goal is to reach level 1350. Yes, 1350. And after that, you can go to your next island, the Ice Castle. Guys, you can level up here actually until you reach 1,500. That's what I did with the Light Fruit Bot. We're gonna move on to the next island when we reach level 1,425. But before that, guys, you need to lure 4. Defeat them, use your skills. Again, lure 4. There you go. After that, wait for 4 to spawn again. Defeat them. And that's one level up. Guys, don't forget to defeat the Ice Admiral when you reach level 1,400. He's located here in his castle. There you go. How to defeat him? Use your skills to damage him and use the stairs to dodge him. That's easy, guys. When your skills is not yet on cooldown, there you go. You can dodge him. Use the stairs. And when it's in cooldown, don't forget to attack him. And that's it. Okay? Okay, so there you go. Again, goal is 1425. Oh, we got the library key. So you can use it to open this door here. You can get the death step here. But... That's for another video if you want. So for the last island, guys, we have here the Forgotten Island. 
So guys, we're gonna level up here until we reach level 1,500. And what a way to start by defeating the sea soldiers. You need to defeat eight. There you go, lure them. Guys, this is not easy compared to the previous island. You need to like use three sets of your skills just to defeat four. So if you wanna go back to the previous island to level up faster and easier, go for it. But guys, just to let you know, this is the last mob that you're gonna farm until you reach 1,500. The next mob here is harder to defeat even with observation hockey so you're gonna stay here until you reach 1500 but don't forget at 1475 you can start defeating the tide keeper you can go to other islands to defeat the bosses but guys they're kind of far and dragon fruit is not good for traveling from island to island for me guys just for me if you have an enforcer go for it but me i don't have that so here you go you're gonna defeat this and defeat the previous mobs until you reach level 1500 okay okay so when you beat this there you go congratulations you've reached level 15 ready to go to the next world but before that let's defeat this sea king first it's kind of annoying goodbye bro bye bye okay so now so can we go directly there no we need to go to the Coliseum, as stated a while ago. So let's head to the Coliseum. I still need to finish Bartholomew quests. I won't be uh, focusing on that. So let's assume you finish it. You're gonna talk to the admin there. You're gonna fight R R.I.P. Indra. Half HP is enough. And after that, we're gonna skip this part. You will get a mail that will tell you to go to the green zone. There you go. Talk to this Mr. Captain. And he will help you go to the third sea. So guys, that's it for this video. Did you like it? I hope that you like it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. And GamerNom out. Guys, see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.